Hello everyone, Brian Nissen here again with QTS Medical Device Outsourcing here with another three quick tips. All right, today's three quick tips are all about patient implant cards. So first, we're gonna talk about what we would consider to be you know, just a regular credit card type of, of format. Now this was, is something that complies with, it's called ISO ID1 format. It's, you know, it's the reason that all of your credit cards in your wallet are essentially the same size. You know, the, generally these are blank white cards, you can order them pre-printed, and you can put your information directly onto it. And they're very, you know, rigid, good, durable things. Um, a lot of times they're made out of uh, PVC. And so you can give that to your customers. Very good, very durable. Some of the drawbacks of this type of card are it requires special coding to be able to be handwritten on. So if you remember, we're supposed to have places for our physicians to write information. And they need to write that information probably using an ink pen. And so you need something on your PVC card here that can take that ink and make it so that it withstands the test of time. And so that's kind of the unfortunate thing about these cards is you have to put special coatings on them so that, so that you can write on them. Also, you have to be careful about the material you choose because this material, PVC, when you expose it to something like gamma radiation, comes out looking like this. And that's because the material isn't compatible. So if you're gonna be using a PVC card, you wanna consider that as part of your supply chain and maybe add that card after the sterilization operation is complete on your product. Okay, another cool format would be something like synthetic paper. So that's, this is kind of a good in-betweener between regular paper, which is not always the most durable, and, uh, and, a, and a rigid plastic card, because synthetic paper is easy to print on. You could print on it using thermal transfer technology, and you can buy it in long strips that could be fed through printers in mass, and so it's a nice, easy thing. And it's technology that you may already have uh, as part of your manufacturing operation. So, you know, thermal transfer is a very common uh, printing technology for uh, medical device label printing. And so you can see what we've got here is we've, we're able to make a strip of these and then during your production operation you just tear them apart and add them to your product. Real easy. Uh, it is a little bit thinner and it is because it's a synthetic paper it's something you can write on and generally this is bi biaxially oriented polypropylene which is uh, easy to write on with a pen. Uh, there are some considerations though for these because you don't have, you know, you have to have some sort of registration marks for your printer to be able to find it. And so you need to make some concessions for technology for printing with this type of card. Okay, a third type of format for this card. And this is one that I really like um, only because it, it gives you an opportunity to really take the marketing information for your company and show it to your, the end user. So this would be a card where it's kind of like a little greeting card. Uh, and the cool thing about this is, is you can make it out of uh, standard paper materials like a heavier card stock. Think of like, you know, the stuff that greeting cards are made out of. And on the outside of it, you could logo this up as much as you need to. You could do full color printing and there's lots of, of uh, offset printing presses that can do really good artwork on these. And then on the inside, what you would do is you would print, pre-print places for your physicians to be able to write, and this is paper on the inside, so it's very easy to write on, very easy for ink. And then what you would do is during your manufacturing operations, you would take and apply that device-specific information via a label. Maybe something kind of like this. And so now, your physician can write their information right here, hand it to your patient, and they have something that's closed, protecting that text from any, from any sort of bonking and rubbing that can happen during the, during the lifetime of this card, because this is going to be with them for the lifetime of the device, which may be forever. And so you can have that card protect itself and have a little bit of marketing outreach along with it. Okay, thank you everybody. This has been Brian Nissen with QTS Medical Device Outsourcing with three quick tips on patient implant cards. Have a great day.